Hi, my name is uh, Ruben Pizarro. I'm a government teacher here at Alsa High School, and uh, I was asked to talk about uh, the inauguration, uh, the recent trip that 100 Dream Academy students took to Washington, D.C. Um, to take part in the inauguration and also to take part in the Women's March. So let me start with the inauguration. It was uh, really, um, we weren't sure what was going to happen in the inauguration. Right. We had been there for a week before the inauguration and the, some of the students had gotten ugly looks and stares and offensive comments um, and we weren't sure what it was going to be like in the inauguration. So first of all, we, we voted and 75 of the 100 students decided to go to the inauguration. So we take off that morning, we're walking through the streets and we're seeing all these protest groups. Uh, going up, go, uh, demonstrating, and we finally get to get on the National Mall. We didn't make it there until about the end of his speech, uh, but we heard the end of his speech. We're looking at one of the big monitors, uh, listening to him, and we see that he meets with President Obama, and they, um, President Obama, Michelle Obama, get into a helicopter, and they fly off. The helicopter flies over our head, and almost at that exact moment, the students got incredibly emotional and started to tear up and many started to to cry and um, they were all these emotions came flooding to them they were a bit i think uh, in mourning because of the fact that obama wasn't there anymore and i think they were also very uh, angry shocked thinking that a that a person like donald trump who has shown himself to be a racist sexist um person would is now going to be their president some of our students are undocumented. Uh, a lot of them were feeling, feeling fearful, thinking of what immigration policies uh, now President Trump was going to implement in the country that might affect them or their families. So uh, there was a lot of emotions going on in their heads and their minds, and so that, that's what happened with them there. The next day, though, we go back to the National Mall, and now it's to be a part of the Women's uh, March on D.C., and uh, it was incredibly powerful. There were probably, in our estimation, I don't know, four or five times more people uh, participating in the Women's March than participated in the inauguration. And we were happy to see that. The Women's March was uh, a lot of things. It was a, a protest against Donald Trump and his policies and his rhetoric up to that point. Uh, and it was also, of course, advocating for women's rights, for the uh, gay community, and also for people of color. And so our students who were there felt incredibly empowered to be surrounded with people who felt the same way they did, were um, upset and disillusioned with our new president, but also feeling like, okay, this happened to us, what do we do? Do we just sit back and feel sorry for ourselves? Or do we take action? Do we do what we can do to educate ourselves, to inform ourselves, to make sure that on the next election, uh, when our students who are you know, in high school now uh, many of them will now be able to vote and we we want to instill in them the importance of civic engagement and of course in voting in the next election so that they can get um, uh, results that they're more that they're more happy with so um, I think that's what I was asked to talk about so that's about it thank you uh, hi my name is Eric Gonzalez and I recently went to the inauguration in Washington DC um, I felt that the people around me felt as if the world was ending ar over around them as we saw President Obama leave on that helicopter. We thought that we, well, our president's gone, or the only president that understood us was gone, and now we end, we're going to start off with a new president that apparently does not like our culture or our people. He wants to build a wall to stop the rest of us Mexicans from coming over to the United States. And I feel as if that is not a good thing to do. Um, I recently heard that he's actually signed papers to get um, his wall, uh, building his wall started, or to start building his wall, and that's going to cause a lot of problems. I'm not sure if people will get deported immediately, or what's going to happen with them, and that's something very scary. Uh, hello, my name is Gustavo Hernandez. And as many as have heard, I was at the inauguration this past Saturday, and honestly, I felt fine being there because I don't, I don't let the idea of Donald Trump being our president get to my mind. And as I witnessed everyone, uh, some people were devastated, some people were fine with it. There was a lot of anti-Trump supporters, 
I honestly, I felt great. I got, I got to win this uh, historical event. Hola, mi nombre es Rubén Gómez y lo que pienso de la inauguración es que fue un evento muy grande a la que no asistieron muchas personas, ya que asistieron más personas a la marcha del día siguiente de las mujeres, pero aún así fue un evento muy espectacular porque podías observar personas de, lo, de las dos, unas que estaban a favor de Obama y, o en contra de Trump y las que estaban a favor de Trump. Fue, fue un, una experiencia un poco triste porque vimos cuando se fue Obama y fue cuando todos o la mayoría nos dimos cuenta de que Trump iba a ser ya nuestro presidente. Como que nadie quería tanto Obama hasta ver que ya se había acabado su término presidencial. Y ojalá que Trump haga un buen trabajo como presidente ya que es el presidente del de, de, país más importante o, o puede ser el más poderoso de todo el mundo. Y ojalá que pueda controlar al país y que no lo dejen hacer todas las cosas como contra los inmigrantes, porque los inmigrantes son los que más ayudan a este país y son los que hacen los trabajos que según los americanos no podrían hacer.